It is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come, and they're off on the outside. Joey's sidekicks going for the lead. That's Villamax in between horses, driving two on the rail. Cry and Cheat and Lion is now the leader. They're in the turn. Cry and Cheat and Lion takes them on by the opening eighth and up on the outside. Driving second, challenging for the lead is Villamax. Okay, Elegance on the rail in third by two and a half lengths back. Two more lengths and racing in four. Sonona Hanover driving five big brown. Ben and the trailer. Joey's sidekicks opening quarter 29 and 4. They're in the top turn now, racing round that turn and out in front. Villamax has taken that lead away. Cry and cheat and line drive second on the pylons. OK, Elegance still racing in third. Off the turn, Sonona Hanover driving four down the stretch now to the half. Racing in five, big brown Ben and the trailer. Still Joey's sidekicks as they swing by the Judgeston. In one minute and four fifths. Villa Max cry and cheat and line. Okay, Elegant still in third. In the turn now, racing a four round that lower turn. Still Sonona Hanover. They go to the back stretch for the final time. Big Brown Ben driving in five down the back stretch, starting to move from the rear of the pack. Joey's sidekicks has tipped to the outside. On the way to the three quarter station, Villa Max by a length and a quarter there by the three quarters. In 133 and 2, and it's Villamax a length and a half in command. Flying up on the outside now, moving quickly. Joey's sidekicks has moved on to be third. It's a Villamax a length and a half. Cry and cheat and Lions driving two on the far outside. Joey's sidekicks rushes up. Okay, elegant on the inside. Down the lane. Villamax. It's a Villamax, and at the wire, it's going to be Villamax. Over Joey Sidekicks. Two oh four and one. In two oh four and one. Sean McLennan, please call the judges. Sean McLennan, call the judges. In the winner's circle now is the four horse Villa Max, a seven year old bay pacing gelding by Cam Motion from Villa Jet. Owned and trained by Roy Dickinson of Island View, driven by Ed Harvey. Four, Villa Max, and 204 and one, the unofficial race winner. Ever finesse with Mike Downey. Alyssa down with Steve Mason. Do you believe in me? With Todd Trites and Valid Appeal with Mark Egg. The six All American Dazzle has been scratched. Field of five behind the gate. Here they come. They're off quickly out of the pack. Do you believe in me? Goes for takes command as they go into the turn. Up on the far outside. Valid appeal drives second. Challenging for the lead as they swing round the turn and by the opening eighth. Do you believe in me? Is on the outside. Up on the inside. Ryan's fancy moves to take the lead away. Down the back stretch now for the opening quarter. Ryan's fancy. That's a forever finesse driving two. 
29 and 4, time to the opening quarter. On the inside, Valid Appeal is third. Alyssa down on the pylons, racing four. Now moving to the back, that's a Do You Believe in Me and is now the trailer as they swing round the turn down the stretch on the whale at the half mile marker. Ryan's fancy cuts it out, sets the pace by a length and a quarter. Driving two, forever finesse in three. Valid Appeal, then it's Alyssa down and the trailer. Do you believe in me? They're by the half. Two and two. In 102 and 2. Into the turn now for the final time. Ryan's fancy still out in front. Hit the length and a quarter lead. Forever Furness driving two as they go to the back stretch. Moving out of three now to challenge as they head on down the back stretch. Valid appeal. Now second goes for takes the lead on the outside by a neck and on the inside. Ryan's fancy battles on takes that lead again. Neck and neck by the three quarter mile station. In 133 and 1, Alyssa downs up on the outside, on the inside, looking for room for Ever Furness. And the trailer round the turn. Do you believe in me? They're neck and neck round the top turn. On the outside, valid appeal on the inside. Ryan's fancy down the stretch they come. For Ever Furness, rushing up on the inside. On the outside, it's valid appeal at the wire. Going to be for Ever Furness. In 204 and 1. Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race number two, and it's the two horse forever finesse. Six year old Bay Pacing Gelding by Western Paradise from On Patrol Finesse. Owned by the Downey Racing Stable of St. John. Trained by Dr. Mitch Downey, driven by Mike Downey to victory in 204 and 1. Second consecutive victory for the two horse forever finesse. Now for race three, Miss Paula D with Scott Hubbard. I wish, I wish with Gordy Hennessy. New Coast Typhoon with Sam Hodgen. Super Shot with Sean McLennan. Yankee Dancer with Phil Hodgson, Dusty Lane Buster with Lonnie Stokes, Perfect Trick with Todd Trites. Field of seven, behind the gate. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off up on the far outside. Perfect tricks going for the lead. Super shot on the inside. Miss Polity on the pylons. Three wide in the turn going for the opening eighth on the far outside. Perfect trick is the leader now on the inside. Miss Polity takes it away. Down the back stretch. Miss Polity. Perfect trick is three wide and racing second. Now backing off as they go down the back stretch for the opening quarter. I wish, I wish is in the second. Super shot racing third. 29 and one time to the opening quarter. In four now that's perfect trick as they swing into the top turn. New Coast Typhoon driving five up on the outside. Dusty Lane Buster and the trailer Yankee Dancer. Off the turn down the stretch now. Race for the half mile marker. Miss Apology is still in command, holds that lead of a length and a half. I wish, I wish driving in two. On the inside, super shot three on the outside. By the half and one minute, two fifths, Dusty Lane Busters up to be four. Super shot on the pylons, racing five. Yankee Dancers move from the back of the pack is six as they go to the back stretch for the final time. Perfect trick and the trailer down the back stretch. New Coast Typhoon, they're on their way to the three quarters and still out in front. Miss Paula D over I wish, I wish by a length and a half as they go by the three quarter marker.
In one thirty one and four into the top turn for the final time, Miss Apology, the leader. I wish, I wish driving two up on the outside. Yankee Dancer still moving, has moved on to be third at the top of the stretch. Now they come for home on the inside, Miss Apology. I wish, I wish has swung to the outside down the stretch. I wish, I wish, Miss Apology racing to the wire. It's going to be, I wish, I wish over Miss Apology. Holiday and Yankee Dancer in 202 and 3. In the winner's circle now, the two horse and the official race winner. It's I Wish, I Wish. Seven-year-old brown pacing mare by drop-off from CR Blaze of Glory. Owned by Peter Tricartin and Lindsay Cocotiello with St. John. Trained by Peter Tricartin. Driven this afternoon by Gordy Hennessy. Two, I wish, I wish, and 202 and three is the official race winner. Lonnie Stokes, East Coast Down with Stephen Downey. ROF Peruvian High with Sam Hodgen. Sexy Boy Bayama with Wayne Watson. Golden Opportunity with Phil Reed. Nan's Way with Jill Berrio. Field of six behind the gate. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off up on the far outside. Nan's Way goes for the lead as they go to the turn. That's Nan's Way. East Coast down on the pylons. Driving a two. They're into the turn. Racing in the three as they move around the turn. Golden opportunity by the opening eighth of the back stretch now for the first time. And opening up four lengths on East Coast down. The leader as they go down the back stretches. Nan's Way racing to. That's uh, East Coast down there by the opening quarter in 29 and 4. Into the top turn now on the pylons of racing in three. Golden opportunity. The Viking Prince are moving five as they swing round the turn. ROF Peruvian high and the trailer in off stride. Sexy boy by Emma. Paces once again, they're off the turn, down the stretch now, racing for the half. Nan's way, East Coast down, driving to Golden Opportunity, out of three, is gone to the outside. The Viking Prince are moving four. One minute, one-fifth as they go to the turn now. Racing for the five-eighths. Still out in front. That's a Nans away over East Coast down. Golden opportunities up on the outside. Moves on to be second. Down the back stretch for the final time. Nans way by three parts of a length. Golden opportunity up on the outside. As a race for the three-quarters. East Coast down is on the pylons. We're in third. No place to go. By the three quarters in in one thirty and four into the top turn it's still Nan's way golden opportunity east coast down on the pylons as they swing round the turn the Viking Prince is moving four off the turn down the stretch now and driving for home Nan's way golden opportunity on the outside the Viking Prince on the far outside on the inside east coast down racing the wire east coast down and it's going to be east coast down over. Golden opportunity and Nan's way in 202 and 4. Close finish for place and show. Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race number four. It's the two horse East Coast Down. A three year old, Bay Pace and Gelling by Coast to Coast Yankee from All American Rebel. Owned by the Downey Stables of Quis Pam Sis. Trained by Steve Mason, driven this afternoon by Steve Downey. Two, East Coast down with Steve Downey, the unofficial race winner in 202 and 4. Mackenzie Kate with Phil Reed. Jesse's whim with Scott Hubbard. Freedom isn't free with Jill Berrio. Field of eight, behind the gate.
At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off shabbly by M out of the pack. Goes for the lead. Keystone Hot Pants on the inside of driving second. Okay, Electra on the pylon says moved on to be second. They go to the turn and the opening eighth. Shabbly by M is on the outside. That's the leader by three parts of a length on the inside. Okay, Electra is driving too. Freedom Isn't Free is racing three as they go down the back stretch, followed by Keystone Hot Pants. They're on by the opening quarter. In 30 and 1. Into the top turn, and Shabley by Emma is out in front. Okay, Electra driving two. Freedom Isn't Free racing in three. Keystone Hot Pants are moving four. Up on the outside, racing five. House of Stars as they swing round the top turn. Off the turn, down the stretch. Now they're on their way to the half mile station. Out in front, still Shabley by Emma has the lead. Okay, Electra driving two. Freedom Isn't Free racing three. Three Keystone Hot Pants. One minute, three fifths. Remember the dough moving for House of Stars racing five. Mackenzie Kate six as they go to the back stretch now. And the trailer Jesse's Whim on the back stretch for the final time. Shabley by Emma, a length and a half out in front. Okay, Electra driving to Keystone Hot Pants, making up ground on the outside. Now a second. Now goes neck and neck onto the three quarters, and now is the leader. There by the three quarters, Keystone Hot Pants. By the three quarters into the top turn, Keystone Hot Pants by a length and a half. Up on the outside now, driving on. That's a house of stars. They swing round the turn on the far outside. Freedom isn't free. They fan out at the top of the lane and charge on home. House of Stars, Freedom isn't free on the far outside. Driving to the wire, Freedom isn't free on the outside. House of Stars at the wire and it's going to be Freedom isn't free over House of Stars and Keystone Hot Pants. And two. In 205 and 2. Unofficial winner of race five, that's the eight horse, Freedom Isn't Free. An eight-year-old bay pacing stallion by Life Sign from Oreo Bird. Owned and trained by Ron Chamberlain of Quiz Pam Sis. Driven to victory this afternoon by Jill Berrio in 205 and 2. The eight, Freedom Isn't Free, first winning trip of the season. Michael's Pleasure with Rick Armstrong, Armbro Comet with Gordy Hennessy, RR's Wanderer with Jill Berrio. And escape the night with Scott Hubbard. Field of six behind the gate. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off. Michael's pleasure goes for the lead on the inside. The streak streaking away takes command as they go to the turn. It's the streak. Michael's pleasure driving two on the inside. A racing three. Blue men group there by the opening eighth and over to the back stretch. Armbro come a tucks and the pylons in four. Racing in five down the back stretch. RR's wanderer and the trailer. That's escape the night. They go that way to the opening quarter. The streak is out in front it's one and one half lengths in 31 and one into the top turn now the streak michael's pleasure driving two blue man group racing in three followed by arm row comet rr's wander and the trailer still escape the night around the turn down the stretch now they're on their way to the half mile marker positions unchanged it's still the streak out in front by two lengths now driving in second as they race in front of the judges stand, Michael's Pleasure. In 59 and 4, they go to the turn. Armbro Comet's gone to the outside, drives on to be third. Blue Man Group on the pylons is third once again, and Armbro Comet's fourth on the outside. To the back stretch now for the final time. Racing on the inside now, moving a five. That's Escape the Night, and on the move, RR's Wanderer. Down the back stretch by two and a half lengths. The streak is out in front. That's the leader by the three quarters. 
in 130 and 2. The streaks out there by uh, three lengths. Michael's Pleasure driving to Blue Man Group Racing 3. They're around the top turn now. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And the streak is still out in front. Michael's Pleasure off the turn. Down the stretch now to the wire. That's the streak setting it out by three lengths now at the wire. It's a streak and it's going to be the streak over Michael's Pleasure and Blue Man Group. 201 and 2. In the winner's circle is the unofficial winner race number six. It's the one horse, The Streak, a four-year-old bay pacing gelding by quick comeback from Streaked Blonde. Owned by Tim Merzetti of St. John, trained by Robert McNeil, driven by Todd Trites to victory in 201 and 2. One, The Streak, 201 and 2 is the unofficial race winner. This luck with Jill Berrio. I got a rocket with Stacy Gay and Lira Lira with Mark Hag. Field of eight behind the gate. Gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off rushing up on the far outside, mischievous luck as they go to the turn. That's a full of finesse with the lead and on the outside. Van Rays and Joe second there to challenge going to the pylons. In third, that's mischievous luck. On the back stretch now, contact Jones driving four. On the outside, Lira Lira moving five. Rackland fine line racing in six. They're down the back stretch. I got a rock at seven and the trailer making art as they swing by the opening quarter. In 29 seconds flat. And the leader still at so full of finesse as they go to the turn. Full of finesse out in front. Man raising Joe driving to mischievous luck racing in three. Lira Lira moving four followed by contact Jones. Rackland fine line from six has gone to the outside. Off the turn down the stretch now. I got a rock at seven and the trailer still making art as they come to the half. Full of finesse sets the pace. In 59 and 2 to the half, full of finesse. Man Rays and Joe driving two. Now there's action on the outside. Two of them on the move on the outside. Rackland fine line is fourth and the moving on followed on the outside by I Got a Rocket. Down the back stretch now. Man Rays and Joe also is tipped to the outside, racing for the three quarter mile marker. Man Rays and Joe by a neck on the inside. Full of finesse driving two mischievous luck on the pylons are racing three in 131 and one rackland fine line four now third as they swing into the top turn for the final time man raise and joe rackland fine lines tipped out three wide they're off the turn down the stretch full of finesses on the inside as they swing off that turn that's full of finesse. Rackland fine line on the far outside in the middle of the track. Rackland fine line at the wire. It's going to be Rackland fine line close for place and show as they go to the turn. In 202. Now in the winner's circle, the unofficial winner of race seven, it's the four horse Rackland Fine Line. 12 year old, brown pace and gelding by Gothic Dream from Cam's Fine Line. Owned by the Element Stable of Greater Lakeburn. 
trained by Sifra Melanson. Driven by Todd Trates to victory for Todd Trates, his second victory on the afternoon, 41st of the season here. For Rackland Fine Line, that's win number 68 in his career. For Rackland Fine Line, the unofficial winner. It is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off Rockstar by Emma and challenging on the far outside. Magical Alex, they go three wide to the turn. Abominator on the pylons. Magical Alex flying on the outside. Takes that lead away as they go to the opening quarter. Magical Alex is out in front, moves to the pylons and quickly opens up a length and a half. Abominator driving into Rockstar by Emma racing in three as they go for the opening quarter. Hyperion Blue Chip are driving four, racing five now and going to the outside ideal ticket in 30 and one as they swing into the top turn skippy the trailer now has gone to the outside as they swing round the turn out in front still magical alex over abominator up on the outside ideal ticket now third now second as they swing off the turn as they move on down the stretch now, racing for the half mile marker. Magical Alex is still out in front, driving to Obominator as they're by the. St in 101 and 1 by the judges stand and into the turn. Magical Alex out in front and on the outside. As they go to the back stretch, Hyperion Blue Chip second now and is on the move. Obominator is racing a third rock star by Emma Four. Now tips to the outside. Down the back stretch, Skippy moving five. And the trailer has the ideal ticket as they go by the three quarter mile station. They're neck and neck, Magical Alex on the inside. 132 and one into the top turn. As they swing round the turn, Magical Alex by a quarter length and on the outside. Hyperion Blue Chip driving two. Rockstar by Emma on the pylons, the racing three. Off the turn, down the stretch and driving four home. Racing through the lane, Magical Alex racing to the wire. They're five wide in the deep stretch and at the wire, out of the pack. It looks like Skippy. In 202 and 2. In the winner's circle is the unofficial winner of race eight. That's the four horse Skippy. Six year old Bay Pay Singeli by Cam Luck from Skippin' School. Owned by Dale Spence and Harold DeFazio of St. John. Trained and driven to victory by Dale Spence. Four, Skippy, 202 and 2. The unofficial race winner. Gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. 
They're off quickly out of there, Casimir Japa, and on the inside, Thomasville Bodine as they go to the turn. Hello, America is on the pylons, the leader, not for long, and moving up on the outside now as they go to the opening eighth. That's the leader, Casimir Japa. Hello, America driving two. On the inside now, racing three. Thomasville Bodine moving on the outside now. Fourth and on the move, DG's Crosby. Down the back stretch for the opening quarter. And the leader, Casimir Japa. In 29 and 4. On the outside, DG's Crosby driving two. Hello, America racing in three. Thomasville Bodine moving four as they swing round the top turn. Meter leaders on the outside driving in five as they round the top turn. MG Girl and the trailer, my bright penny. Off the turn, down the stretch now, racing for the half. Out in front, it's still Casimir Jaffa by a half length on the outside. In one minute, one fifth. That's uh, still DG's Crosby. They go to the turn now for the five eights. Casimir Jappa, DG's Crosby on the outside, driving two. Hello, America on the inside, racing in three. Thomasville, Bodine's on the pylons, four, looking for room and flying up on the outside. Here comes MG Girl, picking them off now, five, now four, now three as they go for the three quarters. Casimir Jappa. In 131 and 4, MG Girl is now second and still closing on the outside. Hello, America racing in third. My bright penny has found room up on the outside now. Moves on to be third. Round the turn, MG Girl driving in the second. Casimir Jaffa. My bright penny's up on the outside. Full of pace down the lane. MG Girl racing the wire. By two, it's going to be MG Girl. In 202 and 2. Braiding back his third winner on the afternoon is Todd Trites. This time the sixth horse is the winner, MG Girl. Six year old brown pacing mare by All American Ingot from Wake Me Up. Owned and trained by Doug Beck with a second Norse River. Driven by Todd Trites to victory in 202 and 2. For Todd Trites, winner number 42 on the season at EPR. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off quickly. Settler has the lead up on the outside. They're moving there to challenges the Royal Putnam on the far outside. They go to the turn. That's uh, Settler driving now second on the pylons. Made in Paris as they go to the turn. Vicky cleans up on the outside. Driving three. Royal Putnam racing four on the outside. In along the rail as they go down the back stretches. J.J. Bria racing now for the opening quarter. Trailing the field. Be willful and march past in 30 and 2. They're into the turn now, racing round that top turn. Out in front, Settler by one and one half lengths, driving in second. That's still made in Paris as they swing round the turn. Top of the stretch on the way now to the half. Settler sets the pace, it's a length and a half. Made in Paris, driving two. Vicky Colleen has gone to the outside from three. Down the stretch in front of the judges, stand in four. Royal Putnam on the move, there's J.J. Bridge. 101 oh, one and 1 they go to the turn into that turn now as they swing for the 5 8 uh, be a willful driving 
on the inside now tips to the outside they're down the back stretch for the final time that's a settler Vicky Colleen driving to is a second on the outside by a length settler on the inside Vicky Colleen's on the outside by the three quarters in 131 and 3, Settler still out in front. Been there the whole mile. Vicky Colleen driving two on the inside now. Made in Paris is still three. J.J. Bree is going to the outside now from four. Down the stretch for Holman. Sittler still out in front. That's Sittler over. Vicky Colleen driving to the wire. Sittler's out there by two and a half lengths now. Make it three. Going to be Sittler over Vicky Colleen and Made in Paris. In two minutes and four fifths. Pretty now, ladies and gentlemen, the unofficial winner of race 10, the one horse, Sittler, a three-year-old bay pace and gelling by Astronomical from Susan Shea, owned by Boyd McDonald Produce Limited and Daniel Ross of Crapo and Belfast PEI and Charles Seymour of Fredericton, trained by Louis Bellevue, driven by Gordy Hennessy, and for Gordy Hennessy, his second winner on the program. Sittler, two minutes, four-fifths, unofficial winner. Gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off. Slim and Sleek is out of the pack. Takes the early lead and driving on the inside. Kendall Delta as they go to the turn. That's a Slim and a Sleek with the lead. Kendall Delta driving second. Eagle Sarah racing third as they go to the turn. In along the rail, Cecil's Express moves to be four. Edgewater Shadowfax driving five. Down the back stretch, Dance Hanover and the trailer Breeze Hanover. On their way to the opening quarter, Slim and Sleek sets the pace, leads the length and a half by the quarter. In 30 and 1, driving in 2 as they swing into the top turn, Kendall Delta racing 3, Eagle Sarah, then Cecil's Express, Edgewater Shadow Facts followed round the turn by Dance Hanover and Breeze Hanover the trailer. Off the turn down the stretch now, they're going for the half mile marker. Still out in front, Slim Man Sleek. Cecil's Express is tipped to the outside. Now third, now second, giving chase to the leader by the half. In one minute, two fifth Cecil's Express is on the outside, challenging Slim and Sleek, who still holds a lead by a nose as they go by the five eights on the outside. Cecil's Express has the lead. On the inside, Slim and Sleek driving two. Back now to third for Kendall Delta. Eagle Sarah up on the outside. Edgewater Shadowfax five is on the move, followed by Dance Hanover and Breeze Hanover. One thirty and one, they go into the top turn and out in front and opening up at two lengths. That's Cecil's Express round the top turn. Make that lead three lengths, less than an eighth of a mile to go. Cecil's Express driving to Slim and Sleek. There's action on the outside. Edgewater Shadowfax on the move. Down the stretch now. Cecil's Express takes them on home. Cecil's Express at the wire. Going to be Cecil's Express over Edgewater Shadowfax and Slim and Sleek. In 201 and 1.
Grading back his second winner on the program is Gilles Berrio with number four, Cecil's Express. Five-year-old brown pace and gelding by Million Dollar Cam from Shady Spot. Owned by Wayne McRae of Fall River, Nova Scotia. Trained and driven by Gilles Berrio to victory. For Gilles Berrio, his 43rd winning drive of the season at this track. Behind the gate, and the gate is moving. At the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off, out of the pack. Ace on the river goes for the lead on the inside. Now XL Panic takes that lead away as they go to the turn. XL Panic is the leader. Ace on the river up on the outside is second and challenging for that lead. Night Talker is on the rail racing. Third up on the outside, a moving four. That's Provoke Me. Down the back stretch they go, racing for the opening quarter. As they move on by the quarter, racing in five. Shaco de Russo there into the top turn. In 29 and 3. Action up front, XL Panic in command. Ace in the river driving two. Racing in three. As they sing round the turn, that's Night Talker after lunch. Larry moves four on the outside. Followed up on the outside by Kalis. Sophia, they're round the turn. Down the stretch now for the half. As they move on down the stretch, four in. Three out racing for the half mile station. XL Panic still in command. One minute, two fifth after lunch. Larry driving to Ace in the River Racing in three. They go to the turn now on the outside. Kayla Sophia still on the move. Moves on now to be third to the back stretch for the final time. After lunch, Larry on the outside by a length is later. Kayla Sophia's flying on the outside. Now moves on to be second. On to the three quarters after lunch, Larry. Kayla Sophia on the outside. 1.30 and 3 and after lunch, Larry. Kayla Sophia still on the outside. Now moves on, takes the lead away. Round the top turn. Kayla Sophia by three parts of a length after lunch. Larry driving to Ace in the River Racing 3. Down the stretch for home. Kayla Sophia's out in front over after lunch. Larry racing to the wire. Kayla Sophia pulling away at the wire. Going to be Kayla Sophia. Over after lunch, Larry and Ace in the River. In 201 flat. This time at the winner's circle, we have the eight horse, Kayla Sophia, a six year old bay pacing mare by Apache's fame from Twin B. Kayla, owned by Dale Orr of Oak Bay. The trainer, Ron Chamberlain, in the second of the afternoon. The driver is Jill Berrio, and that's his third of the afternoon. For eight, Kayla Sophia in 201, the unofficial race winner.